welcome back to my channel this is my part two of my vietnamese raw natural ponytail sewing so let's get into the video so hello i'm about to fix my hair so yeah this is the ponytail that i made i just took everything off <laughs> I took everything off. Yes, we men, we men. So this is it. The Vietnamese hair. When you brush this thing out, it looks just like a blown out look and I love it so much. I just washed this hair yesterday and I took everything off from the pony tail so yeah maybe someday i'll reattach it i don't know yet so this is uh, 26 inches quite long very 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 long so this is the pattern i just left some hair around my perimeter but a little bit bigger than the side i'm just a little bit happy to be so yeah this is the hair that I left, maybe like an inch. So this is it. Yeah, I have to sew this somewhere here. I'll show you soon. So this is my great pattern for my ponytail. So I have to sew this right now and I'll be back. There's no way this fruit juice is going to escape me. Every day I have to press fresh grape fruit. I love it so much. It was so full and I'll see. Mm. Oh, so I already prepared my my needle, my th thread. You start with a fresh hair. Make sure your scalp hmm, like filming very clean. And you wash sewing everything. your hair in front of a it's camera not, is not an easy joke. Oh my god, it's so hard, <laughs> but we'll get it done. Oh dear lord. So I'm starting from here, sewn all the way, and then up to here. I use a little bobby pin to secure the hair so that it will not fall away, it will not fall down. Yeah, it's not easy, but we will get this stuff done today. <laughs> so like i said this is my first track which i'm going to sew and you always have to sew under and not over or through the weft that is a big no no if you do that you're going to have a lot of shedding and we don't want that so the best thing is to sew under the web and under your hair okay never sew over or through the weft so a close-up look just look yeah you so under the weft and under your your braids making sure everything is neat and secure it very well before you proceed to the next level okay under the weft when you sew your weft under it's always good to flip it over it's very easy and seamlessly flat very beautiful you can really pull it up with no problem just like this it looks really 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 flat so that's the power of sewing your hair under the web too mm -hmm. just look yeah so when you flip it and you brush your hair with it it's seamlessly flat and there's no lump or bob around it and we, this is what we are looking for so yeah let's go ahead and do the second track this is my second track which i'm going to start also 
from I'm holding the mirror and one hand is holding the web so it's very difficult for me to explain things <laughs> it's not easy so I'm going to sew it just like this like that and like this and I'm going to come back here and show you the next step okay So right now, I am here on top here. So I'm just going to sew all the way up here. Then I'll start also again from here, all the way here. I'll start all the way here. And the last track, I'm going to sew all the way from the here to here. here. This is not good. So it's better to have your hair right places in the right layers when you do that when you pull the hair all up it lays flat very beautiful undetectable nobody so I was just trying to check if I like my hair before <laughs> I continue so I have to make sure everything is in the right places if I flip the hair over it's going to lie flat to my liking and all that before I start sewing the race you know you feel me <laughs> so I'm feeling myself so I'm almost done here, left with two to three tracks, I'm just showing you before I start it. So you see the hair I left is not that much which is very good and you have to make sure you leave enough hair to cover all the tracks and I'm combing making sure I like what I see before I finish everything you know see this is so beautiful undetectable it's juicy it's flat oh my god just look at this mm -hmm. yes this is what i call a ponytail you know this is crazy see just look 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 how flat <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. My God. It looks beautifully, nicely made. And I'm loving it so much. Mm -mm. Mm. Wow, look. Jennifer, hey. Jennifer, hey. <laughs> So, yeah, like I said before, I have to check everything. If I don't like something, I'm going to redo it. So, to so yeah, what do you think? I think it's good, great, nice. And I'm loving it. I'm brushing the hair to make sure to cover all the tracks, all the shiny hairs in between. So now, I'm sewing my last track. And... I'm sewing it as flat as I can just like this I'm almost done I'm almost done I'm almost done I'm making my last knot and then I'm done it's so beautiful I'm combing my hair just look at how flat the hair looks I mean, it's such a beautiful hair. And I did texturize this hair myself. And now uh, I'm combing my hair on top of it and making sure everything is nice, smooth. I'm just checking everything out if I like it if I don't like it as I said I'm going to redo everything again but I think so far so good 
everything is nice neat beautiful sexy so i'm just creating a ponytail on top to see how things will fall in places <laughs> so this is one of my go-to style that i love every day to work and shopping i mostly do this style when i'm lazy one of my lazy hairstyles and as you can see the hair is sticking out so what you have to do is you take your hair right just like this and then you pin it down so yeah mm -hmm. so see you in my next video this is the end so if you love this video give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel like and share so see you in my next video okay love you all cheers